uh, we'll be discussing uh, interesting tp dos that is a tri parameter diabetes observational study which is a population based study done in uh, a type 2 diabetic patient across the country and our chief pi is dr ashish saxena sitting there he chairing the session and i'll present with uh, my colleague dr uh, vinay okay so here you can see the uh, study investigators we are having uh, dr anuj maheshwari sir who is a governor acp uh, with him the others are dr astha dr vijay patni from kolkata dr d kumar dr k p chandra dr l minakshi sundaram from chennai dr mohammad aslam from hyderabad dr mukulesh gupta from lucknow dr n k singh dr rakashiv hare dr sajid ansari dr surjit patra along with me and my colleague vinayak uh, our scientific and knowledge partner is medeva who is a comprehensive healthcare tech service provider and the financial supporter is usv at the outset as uh, chief pi I already have uh, shown the gratitude to dr anuj maheshwari sir to present this tp dos study in this prestigious acp conference india chapter thank you so much sir so as we all know that diabetes is a metabolic disorder of multiple etiology by a chronic hyperglycemia with disturbance in all three carbohydrate protein and fat and which results into both insulin secretion and insulin action uh, uh, defect the diabetes is a global epidemic uh, mainly in southeast asia region and as per the idf atlas 2021 we are almost 74 million diabetic patient in india and if this continues then till 2040 there will be a more than 640 million uh, patients of diabetes earlier we said that it's a, a disease of older people or the rich people or the urban phenomena now it has changed now you can see the diabetes everywhere in villages you can see the patient of diabetes so that is why the goal of diabetes management we should have to achieve the good glycemic control prevent the complication and manage the comorbidities the icmr in dib study which was uh, done in india only uh, since last uh, they follow for a 10 years and they observed that the hb1c level uh, less than 7% was only in 31% population and more than 25% uh, patient had their hb1c was more than 10% which shows that how much of uh, diabetic patient have uncontrolled blood sugar so to control this blood sugar we should achieve the abc goals and what is abc a for your uh, glycated hemoglobin b for your blood pressure and l for ldl cholesterol level the ukipedia study have shown if there is a reduction of 1% hb1c and reduction of 10 mm of hg in systolic blood pressure there is 37% reduction in the risk of microvascular complications in diabetic patient same with the ldl also if ldl is reduced then there is a uh, reduce in uh, cv events and deaths the ada standard targets have shown that abc uh, hb1c should be below less than the blood pressure should be less than 130 90 and the ldl cholesterol level should be less than 100 mg per deciliter the same target uh, set by our rssdi also that is why it is crucial to uh, set the abc targets and we can reduce the risk of complications of the diabetes in advanced trial they have shown that in more thousand uh, more than 11000 patients the diabetes they assigned their intensive glucose arm and the standard glucose arm in intensive they have shown that 0.8% hbn ac was greater than the standard arm so how you are we should uh, reduce in major macro uh, microvascular events of 14% and the non significant reduction was in major macro was only 6% so that is why in intensive blood glucose and in uh, bp control arm we can reduce the peripheral artery disease we can reduce the type 2 diabetes risk to the risk of stroke by reducing the hb1c the ldl cholesterol uh, plays a very uh, vital role in development of early atherosclerosis and which is equally important to maintain as like the hyperglycemia 
because this atherosclerosis is a major cause of atherosclerosis and that lead to the CVD and which is a major co cause of mortality in patient with the type 2 diabetics. So the objective of our study was to estimate the prevalence of meeting these A, B, C goals, the HV1C, the blood pressure and the LDL cholesterol in type 2 diabetic patients in India. The secondary objective was to estimate the prevalence of meeting A, B, C goals individually, partially or not at all. This was a prospective multicentral real world design study. Uh, we recruited patients from primary and the secondary care settings and it was conducted in uh, 14 cities across the country. The time period was from March to August 2022 and we included the patient who were diabetic more than 18 years of age and we excluded the patient who were uh, pre-diabetics, who were type 1 diabetics and the uh, gestational diabetes patient. Ethical approval uh, taken from the uh, Udayan Healthcare. The sample size was concerning the incidence uh, of 10 percent, uh, it was around 865, but we achieved the uh, sample size of 2202 and we collected the uh, parameters of demography and vitals, lipid profile, blood pressure and the glucose measure all, all for random fasting, PP and the A1C. The data was collected on Medeva, an analytic based EHR platform and the data collection was done between 28 February 2022 to 28 July 2022. So I would like to call uh, my colleague Dr. Vinayak from here, he will take the charge. Dr. Vinayak. Uh, thank you Dr. Daria and thank you Jay for that warm introduction. Once again, thank uh, ACP, Dr. Anit, sir, for providing us this platform. So when I connected with, uh, just a few words, when I connected with Dr. Ashish, uh, like uh, I, his first word was, live about the newer drugs like semaglutide, studying the, because I was interested to study about the semaglutide. So he, he said, like, live about that. We'll start the basics. Basically, karabe hai The patient's ABC is not controlled. So we will show that data to the uh, uh, doctors so then we can move ahead, right? So with this platform, back to basics on ACP, we are presenting our data. Uh, so I'll start from the analysis. So this, this analysis was done on the Mediva, as told by Dr. Daria. Uh, this was a descriptive static mean uh, with a mode and standard deviation com compared for the significance between the patient group. Uh, One-way variance was done to determine if there was any statistical difference uh, in the mean of uh, three or more independent groups. The two-way ANOVA was also done to determine whether or not there is a statistical uh, difference between the means of three or more independent groups. So when we got the p-value of less than uh, 0.05 and 0.2, uh, we concluded that there was a statistical significance of 5%. So this is the cohort, uh, our the characteristics. You can look at the gender. We had the gender-based analysis, the male of 1, 2, 3, 8, females of 964 and we had the age group gender also like less than 34 age 34 or less than 34 133 and to the age more than even 90 also we got that is like more than 65 we had 455 patients so this was the analysis so we got a very striking analysis or the result would uh, I would say like uh, you can see at this pie chart where like only 23.3 percent if we are talking about the individual goals not about the all the three uh, the individual goals like 23.3 percent were having just hba1c under control and the same is with the blood pressure that is 23.7 percent and if we talk about the cholesterol that is ldlc more most of us are focused on this thing so maybe like we had a good result of 44.8 percent but when we talk about all the three parameters which were under control, it was just 3.5%. So this is really very striking that uh, the, all the three parameters being under control is just 3, 3, per, 3, 3 percentage or 3.5%. And if we talk about individual, that is 42% are with one under control and 19.5 with any two under control and over one third, that is 34.8% patient had not all the three under control. So this is the graphs which is showing that an A1C of 
uh, BP blood pressure of 23.7 and uh, LDL of 44.8 percent. Uh, so again, uh, in a brief uh, uh, the, the data, all the ABC under control 3.5, any two, it's just 19.5 percent. Uh, only one of three, 42.1 percent, and none of the ABC parameter under control uh, was 34.8 percent. So uh, the ABC goal achievement, if you look at the age and gender wise, uh, this all under control was 3.5 percent. Uh, males, if we are talking, we are having just 3.6% under control, and females 34 uh, This is the really striking input of our study, that is like age less than 34 had only 1.5%. So our focus of treating the diabetes or uh, looking at the patient group should be this, because these are the group of people, the younger India, the next generation, which are going to uh, come and uh, get the complications of diabetes. Uh, which they didn't have the good control, that all the three parameters. And uh, we, if we talk about the non-achievement of any ABC, uh, that was 34.8, again in the males, 34.7, and females, 35. Uh, less than 34 was 39.9%. Again, here, uh, 35 to 44, 37.8%, 45 and above, 36 to 34%. So I'll skip this, I'll go for the discussion. So if you talk that overall achieving the HbA1c, uh, that we, uh, we kept it uh, the standard definition, HbA1c of less than 7% in the present cohort was 23.3%, and prevalence in meeting the HbA1c goal, goal was higher in the patients more than uh, 55, 50 and above. So the elder people had a good A1C control. Uh, the younger people, that is less than 30, 30, 34 and less than 34, had very poor control. Uh, in terms of blood pressure, uh, maybe like uh, the older people have a lot of <laughs> stress and tension. Uh, so th there the blood pressure was not much controlled. Uh, but like the younger generation, somehow this seems to be little well controlled. And about the LDLC, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that like 44.8% had good control, 51% uh, in the age group of more than 65 years had a good control. And again here, that the less than 34 years had a poor control. So if you talk about all the three parameters, uh, a, 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 B, C, that is HbA1c goal, LDL goal, and more evident, these were more evident, the blood pressure more evident in the older adults compared to the younger. So when, so the finally the talk is like 3.5% is the only people who have all the three goals under control. So this is the result. Uh, we compared our study with the Brazilian National Survey study, uh, which showed that like uh, the ABC control were almost uh, more than 46%, that is near to 50% of good control. But again, when we compare our study with the Brazilian study, uh, the IDF data if we are speaking of, it's just like uh, Brazil has low prevalence compared to India. Uh, India has the highest prevalence in the top three countries uh, in between China and Pakistan. So uh, this is again the individual goals which I talked about. So this is the focus where we need to focus, like uh, the non-achievement of goals. Uh, if we see the other side of spectrum, that is 34.8% of patients were not able to achieve any of the ABC goals uh, with the, both the genders, uh, the females and the males. And 76.7% .7 were unable to achieve the A1C goal. 76.2% were not able to achieve the blood pressure goal. And 55.2% were not able to achieve the LDLC goal. So the major age group patients who should be focused is age less than 34. And uh, our study concluded that like we had the higher prevalence of diabetes in India and also not the prevalence, the control of all the three parameters, that is ABC, was very low and uh, this uh, was more prevalent in the younger generation. Uh, these were the strength and limitations of our study, that the study we uh, did provided an estimation on recent burden of diabetes and comorbidities in India. Uh, so this study is just an add up or an update to the previously conducted such studies. Uh, the few limitation of this study included we could not capture the duration of diabetes uh, and uh, at the respective sites and also we could not compare the urban and rural prevalence and socioeconomic conditions uh, which are not being studied. And this study did not also did not identify the subtypes of diabetes. 
Uh, so, leaving with you all some questions because we are again going, uh, like Dr. Ashish has already promised us that we are again going back to come, uh, maybe next time when we meet, we'll be bringing back another paper. We have, until then, I'll be leaving with you some questions here. So, picture abhi baki hai amara study ka. So, uh, like, are these targets very too stringent? Uh, like, what are the achievable or yet relevant goals? What are the main reasons, if we are talking, why the patients are not able to achieve all the three goals? Uh, is it like lack of self-management skills, uh, poor awareness, or poor compliance, which can be at the patient end? Uh, also some end, uh, towards the doctor's end. So assessing the impact of various treatment methods and combination on goals. So to conclude, uh, despite of advances in the treatment, the various technologies being adopted at every centers, right? We are reaching the urban, rural, everywhere the diabetes care is reaching. But we are failing the primary goals, that is the control of A1C, LDL, and blood pressure. And this, the more prevalent to be the age group, what we came up in our study was age group of less than 34 to uh, 34 or less than 34. So, thank you once again for this patient's question.